What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sturdy Coat. I'm so happy because this is the start of a series that I'm going to start with Maya. If you don't know about Maya, then I suggest you subscribe to her because she does awesome content. And in this series, what we're going to be talking about is to create a website from start to finish. And this is the initial video. So that's why I'm so happy to bring it to you guys today. And we're going to start from scratch. So we're going to show you the process from, you know, the idea into the actual creation of the website that we're going to create. So we're going to go through everything. And this video and this series is also going to show how it is to work with a teammate or how it is to work with somebody else when it comes to creating a project. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the series. And if you guys haven't, like I said earlier, please go subscribe to Maya because the next video in this series is going to be in her channel and the following is going to be in my channel and it's going to be back and forth. So you guys want to make sure you guys go, you guys want to make sure you guys. So you guys want to go and uh, follow her channel because that's the only way you're going to follow along. So in this video, I'm going to be mapping out the details of the project. Me and Maya had come up with an idea to dedicate this to Black History Month. So this website is going to be a website in which a user types in a keyword or a genre, and then a list of movies will appear and the user will then be able to, we're still thinking on that, and we're going to be progressively and proactively thinking about what exactly would the user want to do and really tailoring this website to the user. So the design is going to be mostly like Google. So in Google in which we have a search bar and you type in something and then you get a list of results. So the, the design isn't really so spectacular or crazy over the top. And the name of the app is going to be called Everything Black Entertainment. So it's almost like BET, Black Entertainment Television, but it's really EBE, Everything Black Entertainment. All right. And some of the APIs that we want to use are here in this documentation we wrote. So we have things like IMDB, which is free, the TVDB, YouTube, and many other ones um, that we have here. There's also one called the moviedb.org. And these are all APIs which return movies to the user. So, so far I've seen while using these APIs that when you type in a keyword such as black people or African-American, they do return to you certain movies or some movies that have black people in them. Um, some do not. Some have black in the title name or somewhere in the summary, but it's not really a black person movie, right? So in this case, now just thinking off the top of my head that we might actually need to create a custom API in which we call a API, like the APIs that were just spoken about, and just kind of tweak it a little bit and make it our own API so that our front end, our client can be able to see exactly what we want them to see, which is movies that pertain to black people or movies that have black people in them or somewhat in that area, right? So that's basically my thought process right now as I'm thinking. So the technologies that we're going to use in this app is the Mern stack, right? Mongo, Express, React, and Node. You don't have to be an expert at any of these technologies to follow along in the series. Maya and I are going to do our best to describe exactly what's going on and what's going to happen and make it real tailored to people who haven't created a website before or, you know, just started learning how to code. So. If you don't know any of these technologies, it's okay. We got you covered. So I've already spoken about the app and what the app is going to entail. I also gave you guys the name of the application. I've spoken about the technology stack that we're going to use and some of the APIs that we might use and also gave you guys a rough sketch of what the application might look like. It might not look like Google's application or Google search bar, but it's something of that nature. And now what I want to do is write out our Trello board so that you guys can see exactly how the app is going to progress. So let's jump onto it right now. Okay, so we're on my Trello board right now and ignore everything else on my Trello board. This is from past hackathons and 
other things that I used to do. So what we're going to do here now is create a team. And we'll call, call this EBE for Everything Black and Containment. And the description of this application or this Trello board is basically a application that sends uh, black people movies to the clients. Okay, this is a bad description. It's actually a team description and not a application description, but we are also going to ignore that. So we're going to continue. Um, I would be adding Maya to this application later. And what we're going to do now is create a board. And we're going to call this backlog. All right. So these are boards. And what we're going to do here is create a couple boards. This one is going to be called, let's say, user stories. All right. Stories. We're going to call this one um, chores. And we're going to call this one completed tasks. Right. So in this user story, this is basically explaining what the user is going to be able to do or what we want the user to be able to do in our application. So the user is going to be able to input a genre. To, so we're going to start off with saying this sentence or phrase. Um, a user is able. And then we're going to complete the sentence here saying the user is going to be able to input, let's say, genres to the search bar and get back black people movies. Um, then we're going to say the user is going to be able to let's see what else do we want the user to be able to do when the user clicks on let's say a movie so the the user is going to be able to see a preview of the movie all right let's see um let's keep it there for now in the future, in the next following videos, we might be able to add on to this card if we have any more user stories that we want to add on. So the chores is basically things that we have to do in order to get this application done. So what we need to do is create a GitHub repo. Um, what we need to do is create a React application Let's see, let's see what other chores we need to do. We need to create a custom API for the client. Let's see, what else? We need to host the application on Heroku. Yeah, let's say Heroku. I was gonna say um, Firebase or something else some other hosting app but let's keep it with heroku all right so what are other chores that we might need to do in order to complete this application so we have create a github so that we can store our create react app we have a custom api for the client we're hosting the application to heroku um let's see so not thinking of it, we might not need a database. There's no need for a database because we're not trying to store any user information. We're not trying to store any movies. These are all on the fly on the application. So let's cut off the Mongo from it. So we're going to call it the earn stack. Yes, yeah, a new stack. I just made it up. And all right, so that's dope. That's dope. So. We need to um, create, let's say, API routes on the node application side. What else do we need to do? Um, A few moments later. I think that's about it for chores, I think, at least. Well, we also need to integrate 
the input search nav. What else do we need to do? I think that's about it. I don't really know what else we need to do as far as chores. And like I said before, in the following videos, this Trello board might increase to more chores, more user stories. But for now, for the first iteration of it, I think this is good enough. Uh, this is good enough as far as getting the application to work, getting the MVP out there so that we can get people to use it. That's really much, that's really all we need to do, right? So all we really need to do is create the app, create the React app, create the node version of it, or the backend version, or the back end of the application. What am I saying? Um, integrate the API. Integrate the API to the node, to uh, the back end. Well, that comes with creating the custom API. So that's about it. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, that's about it. So create the front end version, create the back end, uh, and create the custom API and uh, integrate the input search navigation so that you can be able to get results to the user. And the user is going to be entering whatever genre they want to see. And also the user is going to be able to see the preview of the movie. That's going to be later on in the series. But for now, this seems like a good MVP Trello board. And in the future, you're going to see some added to the completed task, etc. Let's get it. So there you have it. We just planned out our MVP on the Trello board. And now to continue on to this series, make sure you guys go ahead and watch Maya's video because Maya's video is going to be the start of the coding aspect of this project. So go ahead and go and watch her video. And that's it for me. In the next video, you'll see me coding and getting my Cody on, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this series. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. You guys are going to see the mistakes we do. You guys are going to see the thought process that goes into creating a website. It's a lot. It's a lot that goes into it. And I'm glad I'm able to work with somebody who has knowledge in this you know, aspect, in this world of creating web applications, because I'm not the best. I'm not, you know, I don't think I'm that good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you guys the way I do it and how I get stuck and get out of these muds, you know what I'm saying? Out of these quicksands, out of these, you know, blockage and whatnot. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.